Hi there, I'm Ron Waterman, the founder and CEO of StorySmart, a nationwide professional video storytelling service that allows you to have your story told professionally, but you own the copyright on that story. Today, I want to uh, um, talk to you about one of my favorite films, um, and it might be one of your favorite films too, um, and certainly one that's very enjoyable to watch with your family this time of year, and it's, it's a wonderful life. Um, and this is a companion piece with a blog post called It's a Wonderful Story. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm using It's a Wonderful Life because it's an example, a great example, of how a story can be timeless. Um, and if it is beautifully done, if it's a wonderfully done story, it can last more than a lifetime um, and touch people, touch an audience, connect with an audience. Um, many years later and um, you know there are countless examples of that great films um, great stories that, that continue to entertain um, and touch audiences and so you know I want to share there are really two fundamental lessons that that come from that beautiful film um, one is a copyright uh, uh, issue that you can read about in the in the blog post there was a period of time where the film studio the not the film studio that actually created it, but the one that ultimately inherited it with uh, the buying and selling of movie studios. Um, they let the copyright lapse in, in the uh, early 1970s, I think in 1974. And as a result of that, a lot of local TV stations were able to air the movie without having to pay significant royalties. Um, and ultimately there was some litigation and now the rights to the movie are pretty secure and NBC um, I think has a license or the rights to, to broadcast it, which is where a lot of people will see it, but um, my point to you really is not about the copyright side of things. It's really more, you know, from a, a storytelling standpoint. Um, in order to have a beautiful story, a timeless story that lives on, you really need two things. You need a good story to tell, then you need to do a great job telling it. And Frank Capra, Jimmy Stewart um, did a fantastic job with that film, right? If Jimmy Stewart isn't in that movie, if Frank Capra doesn't direct it, maybe it isn't the beautiful thing that we've come to love. Um, and so my point to you is that, you know, you need to invest in telling your story, you need to own your story, right? You need to own the copyright on your story, um, but you need to tell it well. And if you do that, if you tell a beautiful story, it can live on um, well past you um, and um, touch people connect with audiences in a powerful way many, many years later if it's done well. So, you know, that's that's my message to you. Um, you know, you know, Story Smart operates from the principle that, you know, a professional storyteller will do a better job telling your story than you will doing it yourself. Um, but really at its core, it, it this post isn't about selling you on Story Smart. It's really selling you on this idea that you need to invest in telling your own story. You need to be smart about it. You need to own the copyright on it. And you need to tell it well. Um, and you need to invest in the telling of it. Um, and um, I'll just leave you with that message. I hope you uh, enjoy, the uh, enjoy the holidays, are able to spend some time with your family. And until next time, stay story smart.